Hey y'all, so I'm messing around with this, uh, this laptop charging cart. Oops, wait a minute, wrong video, start over. Don't worry, you'll get to see the charging cart soon enough, but right now, we got some walkie talkies to dive into. This is one of the boxes full of these things. A whopping $5 for a whole bunch of these guys. Now, I know, they just look like walkie-talkies, right? What's the big deal? Well, these are not consumer grade. These came from a law enforcement organization. Uh, so these are high-end walkie-talkies. And I'm gonna get in here and um, take a look at what's inside. But if, if these are like some of the other ones I've done in the past, we're gonna find some pretty good gold inside of here. So let's uh, get into this. What do you say? All right, so let's see. First thing we've got is some really small torques here. I got you all the way out of there. All right. Now yeah, we've got, uh -huh. deep down inside of here, Torques. All right, I think that, yep, that's got everybody. Oops, sorry about that. All right, and oh my, look at this. This is pretty nice. All right, so first of all, we have this nice gold plated. Uh, this, I think, was the uh, from the thumb switch, the talking part, the press the talk part. Uh, now we have a real nice board. Look at this. It's you guys out of the way for a minute so that's gold plated you can see the uh, the board itself has a lot of, uh, of the reveal gold plate uh, we've got <clears throat> two gold edge crystal oscillators there a whole plethora of small ICs flat pack gold plated pins here more ICs all right, gold plated connectors there. I think those were the battery terminals. So just in case you wanted to close up without my fat fingers in the way, here's what we were looking at. You see that nice big flat pack and a big IC over here. And then there's some tantalums or niobiums over here. And of course you can easily see the gold all around there. So uh, now let's uh, go ahead and check out the other side of the board. Uh, on this side, wow, look at the size of these MLCCs. Holy cow. Man, those are some nice big MLCCs. Um, I think they're MLCCs. They're all covered with goobernus, though, so that's a technical term, by the way, goobernus. Um, so we'll see <clears throat> if I can get at that. Um, gold plated pins again. And given the location on the 
on the back of the board here, I'm pretty sure that these pins uh, were for the battery connection. Those were the battery terminals. Uh, gold edge crystal oscillator, tan black tantalums or niobiums, more ICs and flat packs. Uh, there's probably, we'll see what's underneath of these cut metal plate covers here. So let's see what we got inside of those guys. And a little circuit card here. So there's a little circuit card with a thick film resistor right there. What well, looks like some other little resistors and stuff. No big deal there. Another little card there. Those cards are just, you know, soldered down real well. Here's another shield over a shield. <laughs> Metal shield over a shield. <clears throat> yep, double shielded that one. All right. So... You know, I got to really think through what I'm going to do with all these boards. There's a lot of gold on the board itself, but it would be a really dirty gold uh, type process. Um, my yard would probably take this as a high grade board because they would see all that gold. And that's usually what gets their attention is when there's a lot of the obvious gold stuff. So I'm thinking my yard would take this as a high grade board if I wanted to maybe cherry pick a few things. And then sell the rest. There's some more gold plate there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. All right. And we just, uh, let's check this. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be tin. Check it real quick. Oh, look at that. Okay, that one's tin. Well, actually, that one is stainless steel. Because it's, yeah, it's magnetic enough that we're just going to throw it in with shred. Um, but the rest of this stuff, all right, your tin, no, no, and no. So we have a, um, probably sheet aluminum here, maybe stainless. I'd have to grind it, but it doesn't cut very easy. So it might be just a real thin sheet of stainless. Um, I'll, uh, I'll give it a grind test and see if it sparks. And then you guys are tin, so you go in the shred. <clears throat> uh, this part of the housing is, uh, you know, this is a chunk of cast aluminum that they've uh, hogged out or ground out uh, all the parts that they want. Uh, here you've got uh, the frequency selector dial here and this one is a volume switch here there's some gold plating on the antenna connection so this is where the antenna went down inside and let's see I thought there were some antennas in here yeah so we have the antenna here and you can see there's a little gold plated nub there uh, and then you've got the antenna inside here We'll cut one of those open and see what we're dealing with there. Little gold-plated pins here. I can just cut this off and throw this in with the gold plate, the connector ends for board sort. All right, so some nice cast aluminum there. Of course, I got to pull out these. And probably what's going to happen is these. I'll have to mess around with figuring out how to get these off. I'm going to do that off camera. That's, you know, there's no reason for you all to sit there and watch. Looks like there's a hole right there. So I'm guessing there's some sort of small, small keeper screw, probably a tiny Allen type thing. That's pretty common. 
uh, with these kind of knobs like this on this high grade stuff to have a little Allen. Uh, yep, yeah, there was another one. So there'll be a little Allen wrench to keep that keeper screw out. Then that'll come out. And then these guys will pull out from underneath. All right, so a nice little piece of cast aluminum there. And... <clears throat> Here we have some more cast aluminum. It looks like another little... All right, so there'll be a little board here for the screen and the keypad. So let's... Uh, that feels like it wants to just come right out. Cool. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? So we've got each one of the keypad uh, has uh, gold plating. And then there's the screen, and as we've talked about now a couple times, um, I'll be keeping the screens for the indium tin oxide. Uh, so look at that. That comes right off. That's nice. And that board comes right off. Not too much on the back side of it. That'll be easy to, to uh, take a chisel and pull those off. Try to pull off. I don't know, we'll see if this white tape will come off, but white tape probably is not a big deal because the gold is all on the outside of that tape. And then you've got uh, what looks like tiny little LEDs. So it looks like there's tiny little LEDs there that were probably for lighting up. Yep, tiny little LEDs that would light up behind the uh, numbers so that somebody could read the numbers at night. So that's a nice little board too. And this is just plastic trash. You are aluminum. And, and we've got the uh, speaker here that can go in with uh, shred. We've got some brass standoffs that I'll pull out. And there's another little... These are the, uh, you know, press to talk and the uh, volume up and down kind of things here. So let's see, what do we got? Just a tactile switch. So gold plated uh, little tiny connectors there. We'll cut those off, put those in with the gold fingers. Uh, very thin tactile switch type stuff. We'll just throw that in with shred probably. And then the rest of this will go in with insulated copper wire because my yard has just really essentially one grade, unless it's really good insulated copper wire, in which case I'm stripping it. The rest of it, they've always just called low grade. So I'm not worried about that. And that little piece there is Ferris. H U. So you can see we got some pretty nice stuff out of these higher-end type walkie-talkies, things that law enforcement, uh, government agencies might use. Uh, big chunks of cast aluminum for the main body and frame. Uh, we've got some gold-plated material. Uh, in the lower right there, you see a nice gold-plated board. Uh, over in the left is the main board. It's got a lot of gold and a lot of components, so i got to figure out, am I going to depopulate it and try to go for the gold, or am I going to sell it as just a high-grade board? Uh, yes, I am going to be using my new charging cart as a portable workstation, so look forward to the video where I talk more about this neat charging cart that I got, and I look forward to all of your creative ideas on what I can do to turn that into a really cool portable workstation.